morning YouTubers. As you can tell, I still have the flu. Couldn't attend the Oscars because of it. Had to cancel my uh, concert at Madison Square Garden. Oh, it's, it's been a rough week, I'm telling you. But anyway, Kathy didn't want to go to the Oscars anyway. She said that the uh, the red carpet wasn't red enough for her liking, so we just said, ah, we snubbed them. We didn't bother to go. Anyway, it's Saturday morning, and out by the door, it's uh, about a plus one degree Celsius. It is, let me see, it is nice out. The snow is melting a little bit. I went down in the back there yesterday with the 5740 and I plowed it out just for the sake of plowing it out. I don't usually plow it out in the winter. But anyway, uh, it worked out okay because this morning when I got up I said, you know what? This might be a good day to uh, try the uh, drone, take it out for uh, its first flight. So we did. And I'll show you some footage of that after. But uh, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you, we modded it a little bit. And as you can see, we have our own decals on it. Kathy went ahead and uh, put some Canadian flag stripes on it, where they're normally both red. And then in the back ones, there's the Newfoundland flag. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then down here, let me turn it around. I'll show you more if I can find it. Okay. And then we have a little decal put on there just in case the thing decides it wants to wander off. And uh, now let me go get the remote and I'll show you the remote. So just to snazz it up a bit, Kathy went ahead and, and did some. Uh, graphics for it and I'll see if I can get you some close-ups because before there was just a piece of paper over there just to to get you familiar with what the controls did but anyway we figured out ah, we liked it so we permanently put something there and we striped it a little bit and put the battery percentages there and this remote now is the newest remote for uh, DJI it's the uh, 3.0 version and it's a, it's a nice remote. It don't have any batteries as such, uh, uh, replaceable batteries. It's got the ones that you recharge right in the machine through the uh, USB, which is pretty cool. And then over here as well, um, it's got the uh, iPhone here that she put there. And uh, she did an excellent job. Kathy's really is really a graphic artist to be honest with you. She uh, she can just about handle anything when it comes to that stuff. It is just just amazing what she does. And incidentally, the phone that's uh, that's in that holder it's a quite a big phone. It's the iPhone 6 Plus. So uh, anybody who's wondering, yeah, the uh, clamp will hold an iPhone 6 Plus. So and uh, and that's their their app uh, DJI's app that's on there now from the uh, from where we just fly the thing. But anyway, yeah, we uh, I'll, I'll insert some pictures before and after here. But um, yeah, we were out and uh, we took it for a first test flight. And uh, so let's go have a look at it and see what you think. Okay, here we go. Anyway, we went down in the back and we did the compass calibration. That was the first thing we did. We made sure we had at least seven satellites. We had 10. So it worked out good. Wasn't quite sure how it was going to react, so I took it up about 30 feet, maybe 20 feet, and then uh, just seeing if it would hoover, and the thing just ran like silk. So I said, ah, we'll go up a little bit higher. So I uh, picked it up a little bit higher, and sure enough, it was, uh, it was really, really, really stable. Uh, a couple of crows and a couple of gulls flew by to check it all out. So we kept on climbing a little bit more and just did it in small increments. And uh, I think we ended up at about 105 feet last going off. So didn't want to go too high. And, uh, of course, not being sure how the thing was going to react. But I'll tell you, this uh, V3.0 version of the uh, Phantom Vision 2 Plus is, uh, is really, really powerful. 
it has uh, more powerful motors it has uh, different uh, propellers from what I understand the uh, remote has got self-contained power rechargeable power and uh, it's got a few other features uh, you could even set waypoints on it and have it do its own mission and come back and land by itself so we'll be doing all of that pretty well uh, this summer when we really start flying it but this is just over our own property and uh, overlooking the town of Bay Roberts and in one of the footages there you can see a little bit of the footage there you can see a uh, a big salt ship in over to what we call the coal shed and that's where we get our road salt for this end of the province it comes in through that port and gets unloaded and, and gets trucked to uh, different areas of the of the province and uh, as you can see I'm just panning around our surroundings here uh, you know forgive me if I panned a little bit too fast but this is a, like I say our very first flight with this drone and not used to it and just you know basically just trying to figure out where everything is to with it but uh, I must say I'm very pleased be nice to have had a bit more color but you know everything is white now guys it's you know it's midwinter really and uh, it was a good opportunity just to uh, just to try this uh, machine out uh, the panning uh, on the on the remote is really smooth you know it's as smooth as you want it to be of course I was a little bit jumpy with it and but uh, I will learn I promise so don't be too critical it's all a bonus uh, bonus video actually so uh, you can see that we don't have a lot of congestion around our property there's not a lot of people lives around us you see our trailers parked down there in the back you can see us down there here now it's uh, that's a big extension we put in last summer and of course this summer we'll be expanding it even more our property goes way way back there you can see our sheds and, and whatnot next summer you'll also see a pond being constructed there so there'll be lots to do videos on I can guarantee you that uh, the, the uh, driveway is a little bit slippery there this morning but there's nobody coming and going so it's not too bad we had some rain last night so we uh, we hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll shut up there now and let you guys uh, have a listen. One thing about these, uh, this particular um, aircraft, it don't record sound. Uh, the GoPro, the ones that you can get to put the GoPros on do, but really, what is the quality of sound? There's four propellers, four propellers going out of their mind, so... I, uh, I really like this system much better. I'll have to add a bit of music to it or something like everybody else does. You don't want to be hearing, you know, these things friggin' going out of their minds all the time. So, and there we are again, my lovely wife standing by my side, as always, trying to figure out what it's all about. So, uh, we'll be able to get some good footage of her uh, operating the BX this summer. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. But this morning gave us a good opportunity to do the video, and uh, we figured we'd take the opportunity to do it. As so always, just hope you like it. It's just a little taste of, uh, of better things to come. With our, uh, with our channel, we always like to try new things, and we always like to try new angles, and this is just another tool in the toolbox for uh, a bit better uh, video production. So we hope it'll work out. We're kind of hoping too in the future to be able to take the uh, drone out to different areas and let you see a little bit more of Newfoundland, some unique places, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy seeing that as well, and we'll mix it up a little bit on our channel. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our first flight. I know it's a little bit on the rough side, but it will get better, we promise. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. Be good to each other, and uh, God bless. Bye. Bye. See, you, See later. you later. Have a good weekend. Take care.